Hello Libra, welcome to a new reading. This is a clarity reading for you, my dear. So let's see what is in the cards for you. Let's start with your tarot cards here. Just a quick shuffle for you, Libra. And then we are going to use the three oracle decks that I prepared for you here to see what is important for you at this time in order to, to see progress in your life, to get things done. We will look into what you need to know at this time, right now, whenever you see this reading, Libra. And then we are going to see what is it that you should embrace, what you should release. What is the advice for you? All right, feels good here. Okay, so let's start with your first oracle deck and let's see what is the first card that wants to come up for you. I will take this one. Freya, you are worthy, you are loved. Okay, this is a beautiful message. Hmm. Maybe this is a time when you do a lot of thinking, like um, you feel that whatever you do is not enough for you or for a specific person in your life. Playful, playful trickster of the forest, the Grammy, the gifts of speed and stealth. Hmm, cleverness, perseverance. What an interesting um, interesting cards for you already here, Libra. Why I get the feeling that that um, you need to to be more aware of what's happening in your life right now and um, that actually people do appreciate what you are doing and you are doing a lot and things are about to change. So all your efforts, everything that you've been focused on until this moment, it will start to show you results, all right? Number eight, again, no, this number, this day, is exactly today, Libra, for you, is very important, shows you the, the change that is coming towards you, all right? And you already have everything that you need. You have what, it need, what you need. You just have to be a little bit um, clever how you use your tools, how you use your knowledge, and to believe in your in yourself, to trust that um, that you are you. You know, it's like you give your power for for something else that doesn't help you. It's not that important, um, and you get this um, advice of take your power back. Don't think less about yourself. Be clever how you use your tools, your knowledge. Look at this. You see, poor planning. The magician in reverse is like, you are not connected with yourself. With You are not using your skills. The magician, he has all the skills. He has all the resources necessary to bring into reality um, a wish, right? To reach a goal. But you here with the magician in reverse, Libra, shows me that insecurity or lack of confidence, lack of planning, not using your tools in the, um, in the best way possible. Also, look at this, what you need to embrace, an idea. Be um, 
be logic at this time because it's the ace of swords this is all about being um you know being more in your mind and don't let your feelings to you know to drive because it might you may feel like you are not good enough like you um, maybe you feel like you are being used or everything that you do is not bringing you what you want when in fact you should um you know it's exactly the opposite for you but this is something that you need to see the ace of swords is that moment um of clarity that you um need to to embrace you need to start um you know being uh, seeing the things as they are and don't um, um put yourself through all this struggle because it's kind of like a struggle within yourself you feel like um you will never get there you know look at this lack of long-term vision with the seven of pentacles in reverse so you kind of you're not um seeing clear the future you feel like whatever you do doesn't bring you um, the results that you hoped it will bring you okay let's clarify your cards here and let's find out more so we always can change the outcome right so now you libra um, what you need to hear today from this reading is that if you continue with this attitude towards yourself towards what you are doing in your life you won't get that success you won't get those rewards um, things indeed will go bad but now you are being given the chance to switch your think uh, your your way of thinking and to uh, believe in yourself have more confidence and use all those talents of yours for creating uh, what you desire here so let's see with the magician what else you should know at this time look at this card stuck on my hand two of cups now with two of cups here um ace of pentacles two of cups for you in this moment is that you should ignore everything anything anyone from your environment that makes you feel less that gives you maybe this uh, insecurity or bad feelings about who you are what you do where you go and so on now if you if you take your power back if you take control here over the way you are um, reacting to your environment and to yourself you you create um, space in your life you invite here this beautiful gift from the universe this ace of pentacles this is like um, after difficult time finally um, the reward is coming and this opportunity with ace of pentacles is is something solid is something good for a long term exactly what you don't hope to get you will only if you are um, being more in control okay now look at this how beautiful you have already three aces aces are all about opportunities potential new beginnings new new phase in your life and you have ace of swords ace of pentacles ace of cups this gives me the feeling that you need to to put everything in order in your mind in your life um your the way you think the way you feel your um actions everything has to be aligned you have to find that alignment in your life in order to get where you want to be all right so powerful transformation for you here libra 
three aces and queen of wands of course showing how important it is to be confident in yourself you don't need nobody to clap for you you don't need nobody to come and tell you these things these are things that you need to be aware of to be aware of your um, ability look at this because I was saying about this ten of swords to to recover after difficult times after the end of a tough cycle in your life how strong you are and um, there is that moment when your hard work will be rewarded this you need to know also ten of swords here libra um again shows that as something comes to an end there is a new beginning something this something can be anything from the fact that you you stop giving your energy towards things that hurt you in the recent past or maybe um, many time ago much more time ago um, you are leaving that negativity behind you and you are stepping into this new phase here let's see what else nine of pentacles nine of pentacles again that independency that energy of getting what you want from this seven of pentacles jumping to nine of pentacles this is a good change this is a good change so again slowly you will see changes in your life now look at this your last card here being the wheel of fortune in reverse shows that things can get out of hand that things can get worse but if you don't do nothing about it what you are afraid of right now can become a reality because you are not doing anything else right you are thinking of everything that goes wrong in your life but if you switch your thinking, in the same time, you will change the way you act, the way you act upon uh, um, uh, your ideas. And like this, you will change the outcome. So things can get better. Look at this. You have the tower. Something here needs to be, you know, let it go. You need to detach from. You should not hold into things, people, situations that that is clear that are not meant to be in your life, that is clear that were there only for a period of time. All right? So the tower here shows that exactly you need to let go of something, disconnect from someone, something that is just not meant to be in your life for too long. The emperor here shows us um, your stability in the future and um, how much you will achieve by, um, look at this at the bottom of the deck, how beautiful, the magician and how you will recover and how you will stand up and you will build um, everything that you wish for, you will. Justice is being done, is being made justice, balance. The card of justice is all about, um, you know, things are finally coming to a balance. Um, if something wasn't uh, fair for you, now things will turn in your advantage. Now the Wheel of Fortune shows that it's upside down. There might be delays, things may go not that well, but hey, what you don't see coming is that once you let go of, look at this, Wheel of Fortune, Four of Pentacles, let go of 
again, whatever it is that you know you should not hold on into it because nothing good will come out of it. Once you let go of that, justice will be served and the Wheel of Fortune, how many synchronicities here? The Wheel of Fortune will, um, will turn in your favor. Things will start happening in your favor, Libra. Now, let's see an advice from this Oracle deck for you. And you have the voice of the heart. And it's saying, I silence the fear in me and discover the voice of my heart. The fruit of these words guides me. I trust the song of my soul. My intuition leads me on the path of light. I silence the fear in me and discover the voice of my heart. So this is again a confirmation for you that you should not let your feelings to be in control over your life at this time. Be more logic about what's happening in your life, what you are doing, what can be changed. Be flexible. Um, have the willingness to let go of anything that doesn't serve you and you know it. Find that strength within you. Put yourself together and make some decisions here because what you feel that the future might look like right now can be true. All those bad things can happen, but only if you don't act, if you don't make the changes. So Libra, this is a beautiful reading for you. I really hope um, got there to the right people who needed to hear this. If you enjoyed this reading, if you claim it, if uh, some of the messages here resonated with you, please give a thumbs up, subscribe if you haven't done it yet. And I wish you all the best and see you next time.